Hi everyone, Melissa here. Excuse my voice today. I am just a tiny bit under the weather. Nothing bad, just a little bit hoarse. Um, but we're doing all right. Um, I am here to do a fun uh, kind of winter dark um, design. I'm going to be doing actually, when I did my peekaboo set, I had a lot of people request that I do it or show how I would do it with a darker color. So I'm going to do it not only with a darker color, but with one that is not already sheer, one that you can't already kind of see through. So I'm going to show how you would manipulate the powder a little bit so that you could use any powder that you own to make a peekaboo look. I'm also, these are a couple of the colors from the Virgo and Gem Advent Calendar. Again, um, I am excited about these two. These were two of the ones that really popped out to me when I opened the calendar. So I think that they're going to look amazing in a peekaboo look. Uh, also, <laughs> don't mind my burn here. I had a pie making accident over the week, uh, the Thanksgiving week, which I hope anybody that celebrates Thanksgiving had a fantastic one. I know I did with my family. It was a great time. It's my first Thanksgiving with them in 20 years, so it was it was it was really special. But yes, here I am. Uh, I'm going to use these two colors to do a peekaboo set today. I also wanted to address the 10K giveaway that I'm going to be doing. I know that I am like right, right, right there, um, but I. I'm waiting for all of the packages to come in. I have a lot of stuff coming in from a lot of different brands. So as soon as I get everything in for all those brands, I will do my giveaway video. So um, just be patient with me and we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Okay, so the colors I'm going to be using from the Virgo and Gem and Marla Chris Advent Calendar today is this, there's this beautiful iridescent kind of icy blue, um, medium chunky glitter there's no big it's not big chunky it's just medium it's a really nice gorgeous shifting glitter and then um just a beautiful navy a deep navy a solid navy so i'm going to be using these two i'm going to be using just an empty jar this is a beauty comb jar to do just a little bit of mixing i'm just going to be mixing a little bit of the solid with some clear to make this happen so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with um, just beginning the design. I, I have my builder gel. I've got two layers of peel base down. So to start the design, I'm actually going to be just using this uh, solid as is for this first little bit. I'm not going to be covering the entire nail with it. So we're going to do about here down to the tip, kind of in a rounded shape. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of mixing. I'm going to do about a half and half mixture here. I'm not going to do a lot, and the great thing is that um, I can pour this right back into here when I'm done, and just adding a little bit of clear to the color is not going to change the color in any way. So I just did a little bit there. I'm going to add about the same amount of clear. And I'm just going to shake that up. We'll see how that's going to look. Okay, so that's all mixed up. You can see it looks just a little bit lighter in color now that it's mixed with clear, but not a lot. Um, it's just spreading the pigment out. Okay, next I'm going to do right around the cuticle. I'm just going to put 
some base down and then we're gonna just pour this glitter right over that to get a nice layer of it right there. I made sure to get it kind of right up on this side too, on both sides here. Because when you file all around those edges, it's gonna make that glitter kind of show up out on the under underneath the dip powder. I think I am gonna manually pop just a few more of those larger pieces there just so that they're a little bit more apparent so they didn't stick as well. All right, now I'm just making sure that there isn't any glitter overlapping into the cuticle. If there is, I am clipping it off with nippers or scraping it out with my water marbling tool. Okay, now I'm going to start with my clear and then also my uh, watered down navy. So the clear, I'm going to be doing a right over the kind of cuticle area I want to cover the glitter that's there with some clear just to protect it for when it's being filed. I don't need to cover the entire nail with clear here. Um, that's just going to create extra bulk that is not going to be necessary. I'm just going to have to file down anyway. Okay, now we're just gonna start building out the navy um, on top. So I'm gonna start with a layer that goes pretty much almost entirely to the cuticle because we're gonna be filing a lot of that down anyway. All right, now one that comes a little further down. We're kind of doing like a upside down apex build. And then one from even lower, kind of just building up the middle. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the rest of them. Okay, now I got all of that put down. I'm gonna go ahead and activate and file these. Okay, now they are all filed and buffed out. I'm gonna go ahead and activate and top coat these. And there we go with the peekaboo look using a dark color and a color that is not actually a sheer color. The trick with doing that is you need to make sure that this solid turns out not too sheer. Um, just sheer enough because if it's too sheer, all the glitter underneath will show through. You want it to have enough pigment to be able to stack and start to cover that glitter that goes further up the nail. 
That's one of the tricks that I'm not sure that I really clarified in my last Be Glue video, but hopefully this will help anybody who had any problems with the last one. I love this look. I love dark colors, so I'm very happy. Let me know what you think below, and I can't wait to see all your Peak Glue designs. I will see you next time.